friends good to see you all again i hope you have been doing very well in the previous two videos we had a look at the models migrations object relational mapping the django admin how to create users groups and assign permissions to them now we are ready to set up a database connection we will be creating a model that will create a table ultimately and then we are going to create a front end file that will allow us to save the values into the database we will be considering a sign up form example but this example can be done in multiple ways so the first way is using the html form you can create a simple html form a simple model and then you can create the connectivity the data gets saved the second one is a django form for a django form you actually do not require an html file to create the form because django form itself is a way to create the form and the last one will be a model form so we will be taking a look at each of these examples but in this video we will be considering the example of how to create an account on any website or the sign up form example using the html form so let's get started let's now create a user model we have to create a class called user and inherit from models dot model base class let's consider field names as username models dot care field the maximum length of the characters i'll take is 100 next field i'm taking as models dot email field i'm considering an email field here so for that we have email field let's consider that this is a unique email so if we are putting unique as true it will not consider any duplicate email the last field let's say it's password models dot care field max length i'll take as so for now i'm considering only care field but we do have a special kind of a field in this case so for now i'll consider only care field The code to create the model is now ready. Now we are ready to create the migration file. So write python manage.py make migrations. And sideways you can also have a look at your migrations folder. So you can see that a file, a migration file has been created with this triple zero three underscore user. Right. Now you can migrate python manage.py migrate. So after this your table will be ready in your database right so let's have a look so inside the db.sqlite we'll be able to see your 
right so this is your table that is created let's now come to views.py in order to import our model and create the function to save the values in the table while signing up so all we need is from dot models import the user model that we just created and create the function let's say i'll create the function with the name sign up pass the request argument and you have to now check if the request dot method because now we want to save the values to the database so that's why we require a post method we'll be creating the corresponding variables to grab the values from the text boxes using the request dot post property and attach the get function in order to fetch the values from the text boxes so these parameters inside the parentheses represent the text boxes which are there in the html file so that we will be creating very soon first let's grab the values request dot post dot get so the second value that we want to fetch is email and then the password equals to request dot post dot get fetch the password from the text box now we have to create a variable let's say user which will actually be responsible for for assigning the values to your columns will be using user dot objects dot create right now this function we already have done in order to uh, create the user while using django admin now inside this username equals to username email equals to email while password will be equal to password now what is the meaning of this so the username and the email and the password on the left hand side actually represent the column names so if i check the sqlite inside the sqlite you have this user table you see this username the email and the password these column names so in your function the left hand side represents the column names while the right hand side represents the variable values so what we are doing we are assigning the values of these variables we are assigning these variables to these columns and finally now you are ready to save we'll be using user dot save function and last but not the least you can now return and render your html file which you will be now creating sign up dot html let's now come to templates folder and create our html file signup.html so we'll have the basic template here i'll just change the title here to signup form and let's come inside the body and create the form tag we need to create we need to have a method equals to post now inside this form we need 
the username so for username i'll mention username and an input tag input type equals to text i'll specify the id let's say username and let this one be a required field so you can perform the uh, html validation if you want you can perform a javascript validation or maybe uh, you can perform the django validation as well uh, any kind of validation you can apply but our main focus now will be upon the sign up where the user is supposed to create account and those values will be saved to the table in the database the next one is email we'll consider input type equals to email id <laughs> id as email let this one also be a required field the last one is a password input type equals to password id password name equals to password so here also i'll consider name equals to the name name equals to email all right so our form is ready but we also have to utilize the csrf token here using the template tags ucsrf it is not possible to work with forms without using the csrf token as discussed in the previous videos related to forms let's create a submit button as well input type equals to submit and let its value be sign up we are ready to create our url mention the path as sign up call the function views dot sign up name equals to sign up A server is now running so let's have a look so this is how the front end looks like we are going to put some information over here so when I am clicking on sign up so let's have a look at the SQLite to see if data is inserted or not right so as you can see the data has been inserted but all you see is the page is refreshed there's no message to display so for that what we can do is come inside the function we can display a me message by using let's say account created we are going to consider a variable who has a boolean value account created equals to false then after this once the data is saved we'll consider account created as true and we will pass a dictionary here as we'll consider the key as account underscore created as account underscore created right and now you can come back to the html file where 
where you can check the condition right below the form here. Below the form, you can use the template tags and check if account created variable is true. Account underscore created. So if this condition is true, you can display a paragraph that account created successfully and you have to end the if statement using the template tags end if let's take a look so our server is still running let's get back and this time let's say i'll consider this password one two three I'll click on sign up and you can now see account created successfully. Now you can come back to the database refresh once. So you see that the data has been inserted. Means we are able to sign up using an HTML form with the help of creation of a model. Model will always be involved it doesn't matter whether you are utilizing an HTML file or a model form or a Django form.